Hello and welcome to Canberra Chilled. Tonight I'm going to be unboxing the IXV Olight keychain torch. Uh, it is a very tiny little torch, just comes under two inches, so about 50 mil. Uh, weighs, uh, I think it says in the box, 21.7 grams or 0.77 ounces, so not very much. Um, it says it runs on high at 180 lumens for 23 minutes and it shoots for 48 meters which isn't too bad for a little uh, you know pocket torch or a keychain torch and on low it goes for five lumens for 12 hours at 10 meters which is still pretty respectable considering it runs for, for 12 hours so that's not too bad it says um you can withstand a 1.5 meter drop i imagine it would it's only very light ipx8 waterproof so a little bit of uh, water resistance rather so a little bit of water resistance there and um yeah, maximum throw is 48 meters on high. <clears throat> so, let's unbox this bad boy and have a look inside. So, there it is from Olight. So you've got some instruction manual there at the top. And the good feature of this torch, it has USB-C charging as opposed to the old version, which I can't remember its name, but USB-C is the more modern uh, you know, compatibility of a lot of devices these days have USB-C, which is good. And there is the torch itself in that sort of browny, browny color. So, there it is there, it's pretty small, sort of fits in the palm of my hands and I've got the trusty ruler here. And you can just see it comes in at around 50 millimeters, so about two inches. So it's pretty small, but uh, yeah, really nice looking torch, really nice finish on it uh, from Olight. And uh, it just unscrews this way and just pops out and you can see the USB charging port there for USB-C. So you just plug that in to any USB outlet, be it a PowerPoint, you know, uh, has a socket there for USB or one, one for your car or the phone charger, it doesn't really matter. It'll only draw what it needs. It looks like there's a little bit of grease on there too, just on the O-ring, which is pretty cool. And that gives it a nice bit of um, you know, lubrication there just to help it seal up and keep that water out, water and dust out. So I've just turned it on there. You can see that's got, that's on low. So, not very bright, and then we can turn it up all the way, and it's got a fair bit of brightness there. So, I might uh, take this outside the shed, which is what I'm in, and we'll, we'll see how it looks, um, you know, running at night time here in Canberra. So, let's have a look. All right, I'm just out the back of the shed. Just, uh, well, just have to turn the sensor light off. So, I'll just turn it on low mode there, so you probably can't even see it. It's uh, not really showing up there at all. If I shine it at the sensor, you can see it a little bit there. But it is certainly uh, working there. I'll turn it on to turbo mode. And we can get a better indication there of what's happening. So, yeah, it's got a pretty good throw for a very tiny torch. Uh, it gets from here to the fence there, so that's probably about, I don't know, 10 metres maybe. I don't know if this thing would go the full 48 metres, but I'm not really here to test that. I'm just sort of... Getting a quick rundown on the throw. It's not bad though for a, for a keychain torch, I wouldn't imagine. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's, uh, it's back on low again. And you can't really see anything at all there with it on. But you know, you can see my hand. It does certainly throw some light. But uh, maybe if I turn the camera to the ground there, we can see a bit of that. But yeah, it really is not very good but there it is there on turbo so you know i guess if it was night time it doesn't really show up very well on the camera there but that's not a too that's not too bad for uh you know the candlelight mode but on turbo is where it's at that's, that's pretty good and all at 20 something grams which isn't much at all so 
So that's pretty much it. There's the torch there. There's the instructions. We we'll use a manual as it says. So basically there's a torch, USB A to USB C charging cable, specifications there which we've already uh, already read out. Charging indicator, which is a pretty neat feature of this thing. I might show you that in a second. USB C port and charging, of course, before first use. Doesn't actually say how long it takes, but from memory, oh, there you go, max uh, 100 minutes. There we go. 100 minutes probably from flat. And that's about it. So, uh, pretty self explanatory there. The actual unit itself doesn't come apart. So, the, the battery, as far as I'm aware, is non user replaceable. It doesn't, doesn't come apart. I have tried with another one of these I've got. But, um, yeah, basically just. There's a rechargeable battery, and uh, the one that comes with the torch is the one that you have to keep with. So, so I'll just plug in the USB-C cable just into the torch there, and we'll see what happens. And you probably can't see it there on the camera. Yeah, you can a bit. You can see that's red. So that'll go green when it has finished charging in about an hour or so. And then it is good to go. You unplug it and it's good to use. And then um, I guess when it goes flat, you recharge it again. Or you can just keep it topped up. So there it is. Look, pretty good little torch. I'd, uh, you know, certainly recommend it. I plan to give these to my kids just to have uh, as a torch, just, just for them, just for their bedrooms or whatever. Um, it's good to have a few of these lying around for emergencies or whatnot. And just to... Um, you know, just, just to have a little rechargeable torch with USB-C, which is so ubiquitous. Uh, everyone's got a USB-C charger somewhere or some sort of charger. Um, you can get these bad boys going. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe below and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.